You fam, it's your boy Pangea, back in the building. Just wanted to give you all a quick little uh, video about this anabolic recipe that I just came up with. Well, I didn't really come up with it, but it's based off a recipe that I came up that I saw that I made a healthier version of. So, it's really good, really delicious, high in protein. You like it a little spicy, you can make it spicy. Um, I didn't get too much footage of it because there was a lot going on when I was cooking it, you know what I'm saying? But you're going to see a lot of it. I'm going to try to do a voiceover for it, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, make sure you check out the description. That's where all the ingredients are going to be. That's where the macros are going to be. If you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments. All right, peace. Much love. So, yeah, just going over some of the seasonings here, guys. Yeah, as you can see, you can use kind of whatever you want to season it, um, but make sure you get those diced tomatoes, the tomato sauce, tomato paste, beef broth, all that. Like I said, all the ingredients and, um, you know, serving sizes will be in the description below. Um, I use 96.4 lean ground beef to maximize my protein, as you can see. And yeah, let's get to it. So you just want to cut up the onion, put it up in the pot, and cook the beef with it. It's going to get all the juices and all the seasonings, you know what I mean? Make it all come together well. And after that, um, once you put all the seasonings and the beef broth and all that in there, then you're just going to make sure that uh, you want to get it to a boil. That's why it's on 10. And um, I put it, had to have it on here for a little while. Um, I probably would have used a little bit less broth to make it a little less soupy. If you like it more soupy, keep it soupy. If you don't, um, you know, put like maybe half of that broth in there. It's still gonna come out great. Um, so yeah, just leave it on there. And then once it starts boiling, you can turn it down to like simmer and let it simmer for like a good 30 minutes. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. You really, all you really have to do is just put a bunch of ingredients and seasonings together and let it simmer. And that's it. Like for real, it's that simple. Um, like I said, everything will be in the description below. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one.